Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a long time since my last video. So I just thought I would come in here real quick and make a video. So today's video is going to be the TMI tag. I've seen it, a bunch of people do these on YouTube and I thought they were really fun and interesting. So I thought I would go ahead and do one so I can share stuff about my life with you guys. I'm going to get right in because there are a lot of questions. The first question is, what are you wearing? So I am wearing this purple dress that I got from Forever 21. I think it was about $12 and it's like a three quarter, it's almost full sleeve, but it's not. And it's about just a plain purple dress. It's about knee length. And I, yeah, I think I got it for about somewhere between 10 and $12. And I really like it. It's like it's nice and stretchy. Anyway, yes, yeah, so. And I have on a Michael Kors wristwatch and my bracelet that I got from Cozumel, Mexico when I went there last summer. On my lips, I am wearing the Revlon Color Burst and I have on two colors. I have on the Shameless and the Showy. So the Shameless is like a deep purple and Showy is like a light pink. So I have on a mixture of the two of them. And I actually just got these today. I saw um ray she had put up a picture on her instagram of the shameless and i thought it was just gorgeous but i couldn't find it anywhere around me and i think i went to walmart like two or three times and i didn't find it and when i finally went back to walmart today they had one left of each of these so i got both of them so that's what i have on my lips the next question is Have you ever been in love? Have you ever been in love? Yes. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yes. <laughs> I think I've had like two terrible breakups. Yeah, anyway. Um, how tall are you? So I am five feet tall. Technically I'm five feet and three quarters of an inch, but no one ever like acknowledges my three quarters of an inch. So I just go with five feet. So I am five feet. I am not very tall. You know, I'm just one of those little people. It just is what it is. Um, how much do you weigh? I fluctuate between 122 pounds and 126 pounds. My ideal weight is I want to weigh 120. So we are going to see how that goes. Any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos that kind of make up a bigger one. So, yeah, I have two tattoos. Any piercings? Yes. I have my ears pierced. So, I have two holes in each ear. And then I have my tragus on my left ear is pierced. Uh, I have my belly button pierced. And then I have two dermal piercings. OTP. Um, I have no idea what that means. Favorite show? So my absolute favorite TV show is Bones. I just love that show. I love all the characters in the show. And it's just it's just like one of my really, really, I just love the show. There, I, I watch a whole bunch of other TV shows, but that is my absolute favorite TV show. Favorite bands. I don't really listen to bands, so I do not have a favorite band. Something you miss. I miss. Agbalumo. <laughs> so it's like this um it's called like people refer to that african cherry i don't know what the botanical name is but it's like this really it's like a small fruit it has like seeds on the inside that are really hard and you can't eat them and then it has like a soft fleshy inside that's usually like pink or like peachy and i just grew up on those and i just love them but they don't have them here in the states and you can't bring in like fruits um, into the country so I haven't had them in a really really long time I miss that favorite song I do not have a favorite song I really love listening to music so I listen to a wide variety of music the only type I would say I don't listen to is like classical music or like like heavy metal like that just gives me a headache uh, I love like Frank Sinatra and Michael Bublé I just I love music I just don't have a favorite um song how old are you i am 23 
I am going to be 24 next month. Zodiac sign. I am a Gemini. Quality you look for in a partner. Um. Well, qualities. I'll just name like the top three. But top three qualities that I would look for in a partner would be someone who is driven and focused. I like people who are who have like a direction in their life. They have like something or a goal they're working towards or goals that they're working towards. I just don't like people who just have no dreams or ambitions and don't want to move beyond where they are. I also like um, people who are confident and and um, they're confident. They they know like when to be serious and they also know how to have fun. So this favorite quote my favorite quote is strength does not come from physical capacity it comes from an indomitable will that is my favorite quote. for the longest time i thought i was going to get that tattooed on my body somewhere and then i realized it was like a long quote and i wasn't sure that i was ready to commit to having like a script somewhere on my body so i scrapped that idea favorite actor i do not have a favorite actor I just, I just kind of watch movies, so I do like good looking men. There are a lot of good looking actors. I just don't have a favorite one. Favorite color? I think purple might be my favorite color because I find myself like reaching for a lot of purples. I have like a lot of purple dresses and like lipsticks and so, and I also really like black. I have a lot of things that are black, so maybe purple and black. I used to say pink and black, but I don't I don't really wear anything pink anymore. So I'm just gonna go with purple and black. Loud music or soft music? Loud music. I'm talking like loud music. Soft music? Can't even hear it. So loud music. Um where do you go when you're sad? I go to my bed. <laughs> My bed is really, really comfortable, <laughs> so my bed is my happy place. How long does it take you to take a shower? It usually takes me anywhere between five and seven minutes to take a shower. It might take a little bit longer if I'm like shaving my legs or something, but between five to seven minutes, that's how long it takes me to shower. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I think it takes me anywhere between 15 and mm, about 15 to 20 minutes is how long it takes me to get ready in the morning if i'm going out with my friends or like if i'm going out and i'm putting on like a full face of makeup it might take me like maybe 40 minutes 45 minutes maybe but usually about 15 to 20 minutes have you ever been in a physical fight no I do not fight. I do not engage people. I will just not respond. Or maybe I just never find myself in a situation. When I was younger, I just always told myself that if I ever find myself in a situation where there was a physical fight, I would walk away. And then in my adult life, I just haven't ever been in a situation or put myself in a situation where I had to get in a physical fight with anyone. So no. Turn ons. Um, there are a lot of things, but I love people who smell good. I do not like people who smell musty. Like, it's, that's not cute. I just like people who smell good and people who are like, like, look good physically. Like, I am attracted to a physically good looking man. I mean, especially like, if they have like, muscles. I really like that. <laughs> um... Turn off. I do not like arrogant people at all. Like, at all. Like, I don't want to know. I don't want to meet you and just hear about all you have and how big what you have is or how much money you have. Like, I don't care. And at the same time, I don't like people who, like, think they know it all. Like, their way or the highway. Like, like, they have all the answers. I do not like arrogant people. I like confident people, but there's a difference between being confident and being arrogant. And a lot of people who are arrogant, they know that they're arrogant, and I don't like that. So that's a heavy turn off. The reason I joined YouTube, um, I joined YouTube because at first I just joined because um, I needed to. I was watching hair videos, and I wanted to see what other people's hair looked like, and 
and then I just after a while I just thought it'd be fun to make videos and I didn't really see a lot of people who like had like my hair texture so I thought oh if I if I make hair videos I can track like my hair journey and people can watch it and if they're interested you know they can learn from me fears I am afraid of snakes I do not like snakes and I do not like cats I do not like snakes because they are creepy and crawly and I just think they're gonna kill me so I do not like snakes they scare me and I don't like cats because I also think they're creepy and they like ugh, always try to touch you I just I don't like snakes or cats losing family members like I always get scared that I'm gonna be driving to work one day and I'm gonna get a phone call or I'll be sleeping one day and wake up in the morning and there'll be a phone call or there'll be a message or there'll be something so last thing that made you cry I think the last thing that made me cry was um, I went to see the best man, the second best man, and the end made me cry. Last time you said you loved someone. This afternoon, I spoke to my grandma and I told her that I loved her. Meaning behind your YouTube name. I was trying to find um, beautiful flower or beautiful jewel or something in Spanish. And that's what I came up with. Now I actually, so my YouTube name is Bello Joya. Pretty sure that's not even how to pronounce it, but that's just how I say it. Um, and then um, on all of my other social media accounts, I think I go by Bella Joya. So, yes. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted it to be in a different language. Last book I read. The last book I read is this book. And it's called Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 468 Easy-ish Steps. And it's by Kelly Williams Brown. And I found this book through recommendation of my leak. And I just, I really enjoyed reading the book. I haven't, I hadn't read a book, um, any book in a while before this one. And it was just like a fun book to read. And I learned a lot and I just thought it was a good read. So this was the last book that I read. If you, you should just pick it up. It's a good book. The book you're currently reading. I'm not currently reading any book, but I do have um, three books that I got. One. So I got this book. I haven't read it yet, but it is on my to-do list. And I also got this one, which is What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast and I Think How to Be a Badass. Those are the three books that I have that I plan to read sometime soon. I don't know when I'm going to read it, but hopefully soon. sure you watched I was just watching Law and Order SVU while I was sorting through my laundry. Um, and then before that, I watched The Mindy Project. I really like that show. It's hilarious. Relationship between you and the last person you texted. Let me see who I texted last. The last person I texted was my friend Debbie. And I texted her pictures of Chrissy, Chrissy Ty, Ty Jean uh john legend's wife because i follow her on instagram and she had put up a picture of herself she saw herself and so she took a picture of it and i was talking on the phone with debbie and so i took a picture and sent it to her because i am a creep and i like her yes um uh, <laughs> my favorite food is okay so I have like an all-time favorite food and then I have like other favorite foods. I really like food. I, I love to eat so I am a food person. My favorite foods are, I should say, my favorite foods are I love rice, I love pasta, I love seafood, and then I love spicy food. My all-time favorite meal is amala with ewedu and meat or fish or something. I just really love it. It's so light and fluffy and airy and all like my Nigerian people, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about how good Amala is. Whenever I can, I indulge, but not a lot. But that's like my all time favorite food. It's just so good. Um, the place you want to visit. I have like a whole bucket list of places I want to visit, but the place that I'm going to next is Thailand. I plan to go to Thailand in December. So fingers crossed, I'm still planning that. If anyone wants to come, just let me know so we can make it like a group trip um 
last place you were i was just at walmart i love walmart i love shopping at walmart it's affordable and i could get almost everything that i need so i was at walmart do you have a crush i actually do have a few instagram crushes i'll just leave it as that <laughs> um last time you kissed someone Last time you were insulted, I think yesterday, in my group chat with my friends, we just insult each other all day long. So yesterday, favorite flavor of sweet? I like. I'm not really. Uh, I don't have a sweet tooth, so I don't eat a lot of like. I don't eat a lot of sweets. It's just like, occasionally I'll like go get something sweet, but I'm not heavy in sweets. But if I were to have something sweet, I love like the citrus flavors, like grapefruit or like lemon. I do not like cherry at all. Everything in cherry flavor just always tastes so bad. I do not like anything in banana flavor. I do not like bananas. I do not like the way they smell. And I do not like any sweet made of banana. I also don't like chocolate. So, so I guess strawberries. I like strawberries. But my all-time favorite will be like citrus flavors. What instruments do you play? I do not play any instruments at all. I'm not very artistic. So no instruments. Last sport you played? Um, I played basketball for the first time um, a few days ago. So I went to a training and some of my colleagues were like, oh, we're going to go play basketball. You should come join us. And I was like, um, I do not know how to play basketball. I've never played basketball before. And they were just like, you know, just come play. We'll have a good time. And I did. So that was the last sport that I played. I really sucked and I think I made my team lose but they were really good sports about it so it was fun the last song you sang I do not remember favorite chat up line um what's up hi you good what's up <laughs> If, I don't know if that's a chat up line. Have you ever used it? I, well, if it's my favorite chat up line, I assume I use it all the time. So, yes. Last time you hung out with anyone. I hung out with my friend Ketch this morning because she spent the night at my place. So, we hung out and then we went to the mall. So, yes. And, oh, I think I missed one. Your favorite piece of jewelry. My favorite piece of jewelry is this necklace that I got from San Francisco a couple of years ago. I went there with some friends and we went to the pier fisherman's wharf and we stopped by this place where they had like live oysters and you could pick one and um they would open it up and find apparel and then they could make it into either like a necklace or like earrings so i got this necklace made and i just absolutely loved it i thought it was so cute because i picked it out myself and so it's like my favorite piece of jewelry although i don't wear it often and who should answer these questions next that Igbo, that Igbo chick, and I tag Pre Halima Bapo, Pretty Bambi. I don't know what name she goes by on YouTube, I forget. But I tag the two of them, and then anyone else who wants to make this video, I tag you. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.